Right now in Starbucks all across the country, you're going to find these. They're wristbands for a $5 donation to help fund small business loans. The question is, why is Starbucks doing this? We asked the CEO, Howard Schultz. Just asking the average American to, to chip in here. Why this approach? Well, we have a crisis of confidence in this country. Washington is not producing the leadership we need. And I think it's time that corporations and business leaders realize that we, too, have to do something. We can't wait for Washington. So this, in a sense, is using Starbucks scale for good. We will raise millions of dollars to the donations of these uh, wristbands. As a result of that, we'll get it in the hands of microfinancing and loan organizations across the country. And most importantly, the lifeblood of job creation in America is small businesses. This is going to provide access to credit for small businesses. You guys are estimating that for every $3,000 you raise here with these wristbands, you're going to create one job. That's correct. How, how do you get to that number? Well, and what we've learned through these organizations is there's a multiplier effect of every dollar we raise. By providing money to these organizations, they will be able to go out and raise their own equity. Other like-minded people will provide additional funding, and there'll be a multiplier of seven times. As a result of that, our $3,000 that we invest will go to $20,000, and $20,000 will equal one job. But the real issue here is we have 9% 9, 9 unemployment in America. It's almost double that in the Hispanic and African American community. People are losing faith and hope in America. And I'm saying to businesses and business leaders across the country, let's not wait for Washington. We, too, can make a difference. All in. I know Starbucks made a $5 million yeah. seed funding to this. All in, though, you guys are covering the marketing, these wristbands. How much is this going to cost the company? Oh, I think it's going to cost us millions of dollars. I don't look at it as a cost. Hmm. There have been some people who are saying this is a marketing idea. This is not about marketing. This is not about Starbucks. This is about us saying to ourselves, we can't sit by and be a bystander any longer. I'm getting letters from people across the country who are sharing their own tragic stories about losing faith in the American dream. You know my own story. I grew up on the other side of the track. I carry that with me. I'm just trying to make a difference. I don't want to be a bystander. It's not about how much money we're spending. It's about investing back into America. Since 2008, Starbucks has closed hundreds of stores. That yes. has meant layoffs. Yes. Subsequently, you've said right now you're hiring about 200 people a day. Correct. I'm wondering why that is. Is this because you feel a moral obligation as an executive to hire right now, or is this because demand is back? Well, we're going to remodel 1,700 stores this year. We'll open 200 in the U.S. and 700 abroad. I do feel there's a moral obligation to hire people, but not, I mean, companies across America are not going to hire people just because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Our business is very good today. We've turned the corner. We've transformed the company. The stock is at almost at the all-time high, and we are investing back into America. And I want to just show people uh, that the commitment we have to our company and to the country is that businesses today must step up and business leaders must display a commitment and a conviction to the economy and the American people. The old school of looking at profit as a singular goal for the reason a company exists, I think is a shallow, wrong approach. I also believe that those companies that are willing to embrace the balance between profitability and social conscience will make more money. You'll be able to attract and retain greater people because they will believe in the reservoir of trust of the company. I also feel that the consumer today has many choices, and the company that they're going to choose is a company whose values are like-minded to their own. So I, I reject the old approach of a role and responsibility of the corporation is only to make a profit. For Starbucks, for its shareholders, how is this a responsible way of doing business? Simply sure. when it comes to the bottom line. I'm wondering what your response is for uh, them. I think shareholders should hold us accountable for achieving the financial objectives of our company. But as the CEO of Starbucks, I strongly believe that we have responsibility not only to our shareholders, to our employees and the communities we serve. And as a result of that, we will create more value for the shareholders. And I think the proof of that will be in our performance. Hold us accountable.